looks like the other side has got construction going on, so we are really close to these guys. Watch out! Yeah. Yeah. That is some close, uh, close traveling. The speed limit here is 65 miles per hour. Yeah, see there's the other side, they're, they're redoing it. Decent amount of construction out here. I guess they like to do it when it's not snowing. So this will, this is going to have go on for the next 11 miles, and that's going to slow us down, but it also makes us more efficient. So what are we doing here? Got a little bit of a spike getting onto the freeway, but we'll probably get down to the to the same level, maybe lower. Maybe we'll get to 350 at 65 miles an hour. I don't know. Jeep. Made it to the, uh, where are we? Sydney, Nebraska. Uh, supercharger staying on I-80. Um, yeah, so I got here with 14%. I increased my speed a little bit since I had so much extra um, had so much extra juice. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the map. Well, first of all, let's look at the energy. Um, yeah, so energy use is going up. The last five miles was a lot less, but over the 30 miles, we're now, we're now getting into the 400s watt hour per mile. Not exactly sure why the difference, but probably wind, maybe elevation. So the next one, uh, Cheyenne. Which is a little bit off the beaten path. So I may not want to do that one. Laramie is right there. 140 miles. Well, what's the real? 40 minutes of charge time. Hmm. That's a lot. 152 miles, so that's like two and a half hours. Oh, two hours and 17 minutes. Yeah, that's gonna be a big one. Maybe I'll get some food now. I don't know, is it worth going that far? Maybe I should just... It's like way over here though. So I'd have to drive, I don't know. Probably have to go up 180 and then... I don't know, that's pretty far. I may as well just skip that one. So this is a spot with a hotel right next to it. Um, there's usually a restaurant here, but it's probably shut down due to COVID. And then across this road, there's other restaurants, like McDonald's, Subway, DQ. And then way over there, there's a Cabela's, in case you need a fishing pole or something. There's also a herd of geese. You've heard of geese, right? Well, I've just got a couple more percent to charge up. It's saying I'll arrive with 3%. I want to bump that up to uh, uh, probably 10% because I'm driving 160 miles. And now I'm using over 400 watt hours per mile. And I'm probably going faster, but the speed limit goes up too. So I might need to charge a little bit extra, but I use the, uh, I use the time since I'm skipping a supercharger and charging extra to um, cross the street, use the restroom, and uh, the lobby is actually open at this McDonald's, so that's nice. Um, the other ones have been closed still, so I was able to uh, get some food. I thought they were ordering, I thought they were serving lunch, but it's only actually 9.15 in the morning, so what else? Um, had a McGriddle, and I ordered a, iced coffee and they asked what flavor whoops so I said sure I'll try caramel and it's almost like entirely cream and caramel there's like hardly any coffee in it so well, maybe I'll get coffee somewhere else or something 
super, super sugary. I didn't really want super sugary. Ah, oh, let's see. I can tell you're in the Midwest. <laughs> hey. Dad jokes. All right. Probably charge up. I'm about 5% now probably, so probably charge up 10% and then head out. We be cruising. Uh, I've been getting some warnings that I need to <clears throat> stay below 80 miles an hour. It's projecting 4%. We're using a little bit more than usual. The last five miles have been in the 460s, 15, 30. Yeah, so we're trending upwards in energy use. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go a little slower for a while, probably for about 10, maybe 15, 20 minutes and see if I have to slow down more after that. But otherwise it's going nice and smooth. Um, this part of Nebraska, the western part, looks a lot like central California in the spring. Just grass and some hills. Not as many Teslas as I-5 in California. So I'm doing 80. And this guy right here is on a side road. Doing 80. Yo, what's up? This is the Laramie Supercharger. Got a Fairfield in. I don't know what that is. Comfort in and sweets. Yeah. Um, anyway, almost ready to go. Uh, I was on the phone when I first got here and charged. So, uh, um, charged, yeah, so it was charging then. And then I just went and got used the restroom and uh, got a drink of water. And it's saying I've, I'll have 9% at the next one. Oh, I got here with about 7%, which was pretty good. Um, I did slow down a bit because I was going uphill and using a lot of energy, but then afterwards there was a downhill. So I gained it back, so trip planner was roughly right. I think I would have come with quite a bit less if I had not slowed down, but it's all good. So anyway, it's estimating about, should be 10% now to the next one, which is Rollins, Wyoming, I think. So I think we're ready to head off to that one. Let me see. Yeah, 49%. And it's saying 12, yeah, it's saying we'll get there with 12%, which in good weather with this battery, that's good enough, 95 miles. Yeah, I think we're okay. All right, so let's go. Ugh. So coming in here, I came from the left and now it's telling me to go to the right. So we'll see what's going on with that. Make it back up to uh, I-80. Here we go. Kind of like to go through that puddle, but I don't want to get not too adventurous right now because I don't want a nail in my tire on this long trip. I'm definitely ahead of schedule. I left on Monday and I need to pick the family up at the airport in California on Thursday, so that's like four days. I definitely didn't need four days, mainly because there's no blizzards and it's not cold. So charging is faster, traveling is faster, and uh, yeah, so, which is good for estimating the time back, so it looks like I can probably get back home in three days. Uh, 
uh, especially if I drive through most of the night on one day. We've got some mountains in the back. We'll be going through the Rockies later today. Yeah.